Let's take a look in this video how we can analyze a um, member or a set of members in plain frame analysis, right here, um, where they are uh, pin connected at the end. So for one example would be if you wanted to do a truss analysis in plain frame analysis. And this is where we need to use um, member entry leases. So let's start with the truss just really quickly. I'm just going to click through this very quickly. Right here. So there's my truss. And I have it in um, here and I'm just going to apply some supports. And I can go ahead and analyze this. But the way that this gets analyzed, you see here the curvature continues. So this gets analyzed with um, any of these nodes rigidly connected. So all four truss members here are moment connected at this point, which of course doesn't make sense because um, if we want to do a, a good truss analysis, then that would not be probably connected at this point using, using a moment. This would be rather a pin. Now, how can I do this? If you highlight any of these members, you see, um, and you will only see this in a frame analysis, you won't see this in a truss analysis, you see on the left in the um, project manager tab under connection type, rigid connect, right here. And then another option would be simple connect or simple rigid. This basically means um, if you switch away from rigid, then either one end or both ends are going to be uh, pin connected to the rest of the structure. So basically at this point it would be pin connected to the rest. So let's see how this looks. If I go highlight this guy and I go to simple connect, at this point these two ends are pin connected. Now in order to be able to see which ones are pin connected and not, you do need to go under the filter tab and all the way down here under end releases you need to turn on end releases. And when you do that you see them come up. Now in this case here, um, they were preset in a way that the member that I actually just had is rigidly connected. So those two are rigid connect members. These two are rigid connect members. These four are rigid connect members and everything else is pin connected, which um, comes from the fact that these two would be one rafter that goes from the um, from 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 the apex all the way to the to the eve, and um, they need to be pin connected in the middle. Technically, for the analysis, you could um, release everything, but this rafter is supposed to be one long bending member. So in that case, that is rigid connected all the way. Same with this tension cord. This would be one long member, but on the diagonals, you don't um, uh, you you usually don't connect those in a way that these would be rigidly connected. So they are actually simple connect. But if you knew for certain that you would rigidly connect any of these, then you could go ahead and take your member and say, okay, well this is a rigid connect member. But typically for a truss, you go with simple connect. And the other options that you see here, simple rigid, simply means that there's a simple connection on one side and a rigid on the other side. So this is how you can set up a truss and then you can analyze it and it'll properly analyze. Um, so for example, if I go to member results and bending moments, I'm going to look at that as a diagram. Then you see here on the bottom I do have bending, there I do have bending, and then there's just a little bit, but it, this is mostly because um, I'm in the dead load container, and the live loads would be much different. Let me show you a different examples. For example, what if we want to do a canopy? So I'm going to be in sketch mode, and I'm going to do something where I have there's this guy, then there's that guy. And then something like this here. This is supposed to be a bus stop canopy, for example. And I want these three to be rigid connected because this is supposed to be one big member made out of whatever, steel, wood, something. But then, because I know already I'm really taxing this connection down here, I want to actually pull this down using a cable rod. 
So now you can, of course, assign your materials. So I could go right here, database shape. Go with a nominal rod, let's say a two inch nominal rod, just like this here. So when I um, look at this as a result, then of course this will be a, a rod and this will be three uh, steel members. <clears throat> so how would I actually build this? These three would be rigidly connected at these points because otherwise the two top members simply hinge down and that's not a good idea. So that's good. But this rod here um, can't be connected rigidly at the ends. Uh, it's basically a big cable <laughs> of sorts. So this is a great case where now you have to say, okay, well, this is a simple connect member. And again, I have to go under filter, turn on my end releases to see that. But now this would be the simple connect member. And um, that is uh, neither on the, on the foundation nor up here rigidly connected. And then these three members, this could be basically even a curved member um, that are rigidly connected or are one big piece, something like this. So now I can go ahead and basically give me the some, oops. trying to get the node here, get me some connections on the bottom here and then I can go ahead and analyze this. Uh, and something didn't work, but um, in principle this is how you set things up. You might want to, let me see, it. Oh. <clears throat> but in principle this is how you set it up. You do um, have any kind of rigidly connected members as rigid connect and any kind of released hinged members as simple connect especially for com members that can't take compression just like a cable alrighty